What is going on, guys? It's been forever since I have done a video or especially done a live hangout. So um, I'm not expecting many viewers shoot here live, but if you do, um, you can try to comment. I guess you have to comment through the, um, what do you call it, the Google Plus um, page. I don't even know if you can do it through eBay, so just, or through, um, Let's see. I don't even know if you can do it through YouTube anymore. Let me see. This is really confusing. Back in the old day when we used to get on here and do the Hangouts, it's so much different than it used to be. Uh, now you might be able to comment through the... Hold on a second. You might be able to comment through the... Um, through the YouTube feed. But anyway, um, let's see where we're at here. I'll get this back up here. So basically, to under some of you may have known that um, if you looked at any, looked at my channel lately, I've changed my name again, but I'm gonna keep it to this one, um, the FBA life, um, just because that's what I'm living right now. Definitely living the FBA life. Um, I guess it's been about eight months that my wife and I have uh, quit eBay and did went right to full time Amazon FBA. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give my experiences with that. This might not be a real long video. It's not really won't be real. Um, like I don't have anything planned out or anything, but uh, I'm loving it right now. Um, Amazon FBA. I never thought that I would um, enjoy it as much as I am. Um, it's been great. Uh, you know, eBay was getting to the point where we were just getting really tired of all the PayPal crap and, and eBay crap and, and dealing with, um, you know, now there's even more since we left with the whole defect rate or whatever they call it. But, uh, you know, I do not miss eBay at all. Um, I'm definitely not going to put anyone down if they're still selling on eBay. Um, I will say that I do think they're definitely trying to, um, you know, um, knock the smaller sellers out off of eBay. So um, but as far as Amazon, it's been great. You know, I remember back in the day when uh, Mike Global Voodoo was telling me, you know, you got to do Amazon, you got to do Amazon. You know, I really knew nothing about it. Um, you know, I thought there's no way I'm ever going to leave uh you know, never going to leave eBay um, and just decided to do it one day and got into it. Didn't know really what I was doing. Um, got into books, which is what we really enjoy. But there's so many. We're selling mainly books and media, um, you know, like CDs, video games, um, you know, different things like that. But, you know, there's so many things to sell on Amazon, just like there is on eBay. Um, what I like so much more about Amazon is that we can, you know, I can send my, I think somebody did a video on it and said, it's kind of like, you know, you hear all the talk about passive income and, um, you know, it is kind of almost like semi-passive income because, you know, you're doing a lot of work up front, getting the inventory, shipping it in, pricing it, whatever. But, you know, then Amazon does all the other stuff. And that was one of my least favorite things which was dealing with the customer service side of it, dealing with people. And then the other thing was, um, you know, shipping the products out. With what the quantity I'm selling on Amazon right now, it would be really hard to be shipping out all this myself. Um, so right there was a plus, plus Amazon. I mean, don't get me wrong, Amazon is tough but it's nothing like eBay. I mean, you can get kicked off Amazon if you don't, you know, do what you're supposed to be doing. Um, but even feedback, I don't think quite as, as is quite as important on um, Amazon. You don't get many feedbacks at all for those of you that are doing it. Um, you don't get many feedbacks. I mean, I'm only getting maybe a couple feedbacks a week, whereas, you know, eBay was a lot of feedback. Um, that's good and bad though. You know, if you're getting good feedback, it makes it look good. But if you get, you know, one bad feedback on Amazon, it can really knock your percentage down, you know, because you're not getting much. Um, 
but I, I honestly love it. I, I can't believe I didn't do it before. Um, like I said before, you know, I never thought I'd do that. Um, you know, it's definitely different. I got it. I was, you know, for any of you that know me, sold vintage paper items. And obviously, you know, it was a little harder to get into different things. Um, sorry, I'm checking my dog out there. We got a new puppy, by the way, but she's not exactly a puppy. She's pit bull and boxer. So she's a big girl, but making sure she's okay over there. Anyway, um, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, just, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, but it's great though. I, I really do love it. It's, you know, it's hard. Oh yeah. It's hard to get, you know, I was in that, there's definitely a different, you definitely are buying different things for Amazon than you can for eBay. Um, you know, I thought it was really hard to find stuff for Amazon at first, but now it really doesn't seem hard at all. Um, if anybody, any of you are thinking of doing Amazon FBA, you know, I would say try it out. It's, you know, it, it takes a little getting used to, but like I said, I, I'm glad we did it. Um, you know, I'm finding good books. We're selling lots of books. Um, and, and like I said, it's been really been great, but it's, it's hard to get out of that with the, old, with the, you know, going to auctions and, and flea markets and finding vintage ephemera and stuff and selling that to changing to go into, uh, you know, book sales and, and, you know, I'd get a lot of stuff off Craigslist. I run an ad on Craigslist for books and I do different things for that. And I have some contacts and I contact, you know, colleges and different things and get books, but it's, it's different. It's definitely different. And, you know, there's part of me that misses a little bit of that, but of the whole, like selling the old paper or stuff, but I'm making such good money really doing this and it's scaling up and I only see it getting better and better. So, um, you know, and like I said, with eBay, you know, I'm not trying to discourage anybody that's doing eBay right now, but you know, you got to be careful because they're just trying, just seems like more and more like they're trying to push, um, you know, they're really trying to push people out of, of that. I mean, that's my opinion, but that's just seems like what, what they're trying to do. But I would just give the advice that, I don't know if any, I'm trying to see if this will reload this page or not. I would just give the advice that if you're thinking about it and you were like me, like thinking, oh, I'll never do anything but eBay, you know, give it a shot. Um, you know, I have people ask me all the time, like, what do you look for? What do you scan for? You know, it's really hard to tell. It's really hard to tell somebody um, what to look for. Like you have to figure out your own business plan. You have to figure out what you're going to sell. You know, there's a lot of guys doing, going the retail arbitrage route, like, um, you know, Mike does a lot of that. Dallas Moore does a lot of that. But, um, you know, that's not my thing. And God bless them that they can do it. That definitely is not my thing. I, I can't stand retail arbitrage. Um, you know, a lot of guys that are doing the retail arbitrage are making, you know, my, my – they might be making more money, yes, but they're going through a lot more work than I am as far as getting – check the puppy <laughs> as getting in inventory you know their their return on investment is a lot smaller than what i'm working on i mean i'm buying books for 25 50 cents and selling them for you know eight ten fifteen twenty hundred dollars um so it's definitely different that way um you know they're probably selling more volume than i am but like i said you have to figure out what your what your business plan is um get that figured out as early as you can if you do do amazon um and just, you know, I, I would say just get that figured out right away. Like what you want to sell, if you want to do retail, if you want to do wholesale, if you want to be a person that does thrifting, if you want to, you know, you can get a little bit of everything, but you know, I think it's kind of nice to have a little niche where, you know, this is what you're selling. Um, but just get out there and scan and, and do it, you know, go to grocery stores and scan, go to, you know, I, I've sourced stuff at yard sales at flea markets at book sales at, thrifts at, um, like I said, off Craigslist, different things. I mean, it's a little different for me cause I'm doing books. Um, you know, it's a little different than going to like target and scanning stuff and, and doing all that. But like I said, that's not my thing. Um, but you know, more power to people that do that and want to do that. You know, I've always been to, you know, I've always been like to where I think you really got to want to do what you're doing, like be happy, you know, it makes you happy and it's really in retail arbitrage just, I never wanted to do it and it just never was my thing. So 
you know, books I kind of got into and it was easy for me and, and that's what I decided to do. But there's so many routes you can go. Um, you know, I, I don't see ever going back to eBay, to be honest. Um, I think Amazon, you know, knock on wood is getting bigger and better and there's just going to be more and more opportunities. Um, you know, especially what you're, depending on what you're selling, if there's, you know, I think retail arbitrage might get hard down the line, but even that there's going to be so there's so many different products to, to source and to, to make money on, you know, some guys are happy buying, you know, something for 20 and making five, six bucks on it. If they know that they're going to sell right away, you know, that's not my thing, but I mean, there's definitely things that if you're working on a smaller margin, you can, you can definitely do. Um, like I said, it's been great. Um, I'm not going to stay on here real long, but I just wanted to kind of let you know what I'm, what we're doing. We've just been super busy with Amazon, been sending a lot in. Um, Cyber Monday was awesome for sales. It was one of our best. It actually wasn't. I think money wise, it was. I think money wise, it was our best day since we've been doing Amazon, and we've been doing Amazon like, I guess around eight months. So. Um, and we're growing. I have about 2,200 items in inventory, mostly, you know, we do books, CDs, different things, some toys, some games. Um, but I'm really looking within the next year to get that up, you know, at least double, if not more. Um, really looking to get to that four to 5,000 item mark and keep it there. And, um, you know, our, my, my, um, my thing with Amazon is that I'm more of a fast or a fast nickel over a slow dime just because I want to get the stuff in. I've, I can, in my area, I can find a lot of books. You know, I can travel within like an hour, hour and a half of my area, you know, a lot of times much closer than that and get, and get books. So, you know, I can work on a little smaller margin too, if I have to, but you know, my thing is get them in, get them sold. I'd rather sell, you know, one of my buddies that also sells books had told me this and has helped me a lot, but you know, he said he'd rather sell, um, you know, book today for whatever amount than sell it, you know, a week or two from now and get four or five bucks more, you know, I'd rather get it in, get it out. Um, now that's not saying do a race to the bottom and, and keep undercutting everybody. Don't do that. But you know, like I said, there's so many different business plans. People ask me all the time, you know, what to sell? What do you do? What can I do? What can I sell? You know, you just have to figure that out for yourself. Depending on what area you live in, my area is good for books and for thrifting and for stuff like that. You know, some areas are more of a, you know, of a city area where it might be more, you know, Targets and Walmarts and stuff like that where you might want to do retail. Some people might be way out in the boondocks and, and have to do, you know, wholesale or different things like that. So find out what's in your area, go out, you know, scan, if you're new, scan. Um, we do have this, if I have it here. This is what I use, this is what we use for, and this is old tech, technology, guys. This is a Dell Axon PDA with the top, with the socket scanner. And basically, I got this through acellertool.com. There's also like Neato Scan and a bunch of other places. There's things that you can have it on, you know, you can scan it right off your phone. Um, different things, but I love this. It's fast. Um, we basically bought it straight from them for like $300 or something. Um, I think there's cheaper on eBay if you want to go that route, but basically you just, I don't even know if you can see it, but you, it'll scan a book. It'll give you a reading out on there, which you're not going to really be able to see now. Like that one says no seller reading. You can't really see it, but that'll give you a reading on there. And that's what I use. You know, I scan books and that also will scan a lot of, it'll scan toys, games, video games. Um, I'm not sure if it, I don't really deal in much else than that. So I'm not sure if it really will scan other things, but you can use, you know, there's a lot of different scouting tools now, profit bandit still. And, um, you know, inventory lab has, has one, I think now and different things like that. So, um, there's just so many, I mean, I saw somebody post on a board today saying, you know, what do I sell is my cat is up there. Get down, get down. See how good they listen. Anyway, somebody was on a message board that I was on and said, you know, something about they wanted to try Amazon. What do I sell? You know, first of all, it irks me that people ask that because it's like, what can you not sell? I mean, honestly, or, or people will say, well, I can't find anything to sell. Well, you're really not looking. I mean, let's face it, you're really not looking. Um, 
you know, we all learn by trial and error, you know, and I hate, I hate when, when people try to come on and, and, you know, try to get information. There's so much free information out there anyway, that you shouldn't have to get on a message board and ask, what do I sell? Um, you know, do the research for yourself. It's really not that difficult. Um, you know, I'm not saying I haven't had help. I've had a lot of guys help me over the, you know, this past eight months with, with getting to where I am now. And, uh, but you know, it's, there's a lot of money to be made out there. So for anybody to say, I can't make any money reselling, I hear people with books, all I find is penny books. Well, then you're not looking hard enough in my opinion, or you got to think of another way pricing. There's different ways to price. There's, there's so many different options. Anyway, I'm going to head out. I got a lot of work to do. I'm revamping my office. I'm going to start posting more videos. I'm still thinking about doing and months about back, I think I talked about, I'm still thinking about doing like a weekly show. Um, there's so many people doing shows right now that it's almost, it's almost crazy. I mean, there's shows every day and there's certain people that are on all the time that almost get tired of seeing them. I'm not going to say anything bad, but you almost get tired of seeing their face because they're on every hangout. You probably know who I'm talking about, but I don't want, if I do a show, I wouldn't want it to get to that point where you're tired of seeing my face. Um, so you know, let me know what you guys think, what you want to know about Amazon FBA, what you'd like to see in my videos. Um, and I'm definitely going to at least try to get, you know, video videos out here and there um, and, and get some more stuff. You know, it's it's kind of a busy time, but, you know, I want to get back into it. So for those that were live, I appreciate you joining me. Um, like I said, I have no idea if anybody's saying anything. I don't know where it even is, but um, hopefully the more I do it, the more I'll get back into seeing where uh because there's so many different things here that i don't even know what's what anymore and i'm not seeing anywhere that would even have questions i don't think so um so anyway thanks and you know stay tuned subscribe if you're not subscribed um and i'll definitely get you know get some more stuff out there for everybody all right guys thanks